Few could have imagined that we'd be talking about the real possibility of an AIDS-free generation. But that's what we're talking about. That's why we're here. And we arrived here because of all of you and your unwavering belief that we can and we will beat this disease. And this is a global fight, and it's one that America must continue to lead. And looking back at the history of HIV AIDS, and you'll see that no other country has done more than this country, and that's a testament to our leadership as a country, but we can't be complacent. In 1981, the Centers for Disease Control issued its first warning about a new disease. Many had trouble naming this disease, understanding and caring for the people who were infected, and facing down their fears. Federal health officials consider it an epidemic, yet you rarely hear a thing about it. But people would not be silent. Communities mobilized to fight AIDS. In San Francisco, Kampala, Bangkok, across the planet, communities comforted people as they died from a disease we could not treat. Communities fought for respect, care, equal rights, and to celebrate the lives of those lost. Scientists worked to understand HIV, ensure the safety of the blood supply, and develop a test for the virus. We held the first International AIDS Conference in Atlanta in 1985, and finally, we developed the first treatment for AIDS, AZT, in 1987. Individuals and communities mobilized governments, whole regions, and eventually the entire globe to prevent the further spread of HIV, develop new ways to treat infections, and to respect and care for those affected. We gained the knowledge to create stronger medications and found new tools to prevent HIV transmission. Instead of watching people die, we turned to helping people live. In the United States, we are working to develop treatment to all who need it. We launched and supported global efforts to fight disease with science, compassion, and a faith in our ability to make a difference. And countries around the world stood up to fight not only HIV AIDS, but the fear and stigma that had held us back. Now, together, we are saving lives and scaling up. We can see an AIDS-free generation. We can turn the tide on this epidemic. On behalf of Americans everywhere, welcome to the 2012 International AIDS Conference. And thank you for your commitment to achieving an AIDS-free generation here in America and around the world. We've made great progress, but there's still a lot of work to do. So let's move forward together. <laughs>